On April 6, 2024, Flagler County Sheriff's Office deputies responded to a residence in Palm Coast, Florida, after a woman called 911 and said she had been assaulted. Upon arrival, deputies contacted the victim who said she was in the process of setting up for an open house, when an older male drove by in a gold SUV and waved at her. He passed by several times before stopping in front of the residence. She told the man that the open house was not scheduled to start for another 20 minutes, but when she walked inside, he followed her. After offering a handshake to leave, he pulled her in tightly and began kissing her neck. After struggling to get free and telling him to stop, the man let her go, but took one of her business cards as he left. The victim took photos of the man's vehicle as he fled and called 911. Just to kind of put your mind at ease, we do already have them stopped somewhere, okay? So we're, we're already, my other deputies are already talking to him. Um, so did he, did he like leave any kind of marks or anything like that? Like when he was kissing your neck, like was he trying to bite it or anything like that? I mean, can I see where he broke your nail? Like this one? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Alright, you might give me a statement of what happened? So, yeah, if you want to lock up, we'll be right out here waiting on you, okay? Deputies were able to quickly identify the man as Palm Coast resident Carlos da Silva, 78. They located the suspect vehicle and conducted a traffic stop. He initially told deputies he did not stop in the P section that day then changed his story and said he had stopped there and only briefly spoke to a woman. Dispatch has been updated. Final stop's gonna be for a simple desk, Shalom. Sergeant West, Flight County Sheriff's Office. Do you have a driver's license? Do you have a registration of insurance with you? Yep. Okay. Hey, What's going on today? I go pick up the dog in my daughter's house. At your daughter's house? And I go see the house I have to rent over here. You rent a you rent a house over here? I have rent a house rent over here. Oh, okay. For a two dollar lane. Oh, okay. Did and you go? Have, did you I go anywhere else? After I go to my house, I leave them the. Fairchild Lane. Okay. Captain Fairchild Lane. Okay. I'm sorry. I can no, take okay. my wallet. Can I go outside to take my wallet? Sure, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Is it in your front pocket there? No, I'll use my phone. Okay. Let me take my wallet. Why are you stopping me, officer? Uh, did you stop and talk to a realtor somewhere? No. You didn't talk to anybody? No. Okay. I'm coming from my house. Coming from your house? From my daughter's house. I from pick your her daughter? up the Where dog. does your daughter live? Lo she lives in the east section. In the east section? Yeah. Where'd you pick up the dogs from? Um, east section. Okay. East section is uh, uh -huh. after the Valtteri. Yeah, I, I know where the east section is. Oh, so. Well, a, a realtor called and said that you stopped out where she was working, and some some strange thing, some strange things occurred. So I got deputies over there talking to her now, and then they're going to come over here and talk to you to figure out what's going on. Okay? I'm sorry, I don't see I don't I don't see nobody. You didn't talk to anybody. I talked to a lady who's, uh, uh -huh. um, in another street. I forget the name. Okay. But uh, I got. Did I you know her door. previously or no? No. No? Okay. All right, just hang tight for me. All right. At first, he didn't talk to anybody or do anything, but... 
Oh wait, well there was this, there was a lady. <laughs> that one lady. That one lady. Alpha two ten to two twenty one on LE three. Yeah, I've got them stopped over here. Just let me know what you guys have. Has he said anything about it yet? I just asked him briefly if he went anywhere. At Dispatch first, he didn't go anywhere. Updated. And then, oh, there was a lady I stopped and talked to. Couldn't remember her name or where he was. If I get them to send a CH to the CJ head, can you review it for me for prior? Yeah, it's 10 4. Is she looking to pursue? She's up in the air right now. I'm trying to figure that out. Alright, I'm trying to figure that out and let me know. For the notes, it looks like it's going to be a simple 33. Yeah, that's all it's going to be. It's not a sex offense. No. <laughs> Unless he has prior battery conviction, then it's a felony. Felony battery, yeah. But. Hey, if he wants to come over here, I'll go to the house and figure out what we got. 223, 223 back to 213. You don't have to wait till he shows up. You're good. Okay. Yeah. I just want to go figure out what they got over Yeah. So, yeah, if you want to lock up, we'll be right out here waiting on you, okay? Eventually, he admitted to going inside and pulling her in for a hug, but says he promptly left afterward. How you doing? Hi, officer. Yeah, I'm Deputy Young with the Sheriff's Office. All right. Do you know why you're here? No, I don't know. I know this. They tell me what, why they stopped me, but I don't know why you're here. You don't tell me yet. Okay. Did you read him, Miranda? Yeah. It was a, I did, but he, I read it, he wanted it in Spanish, but then he started talking. Okay. Do you so, understand your constitutional rights? Do you know what Miranda is? Do you have the right to remain silent? silent? He wanted him in Spanish, but then he started talking. I mean, you, you, you seem you seem pretty proficient though in English. No, I'm not. I'm not talking much English, mm -hmm. but I understand a little bit. You understand. And a if bit? you guys understand me, mm -hmm. if you officers understand me, I think we're okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to read this to you again. Okay. All right. And I want you to um to stop me at any point if you don't understand it. All right. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand that? No. What do you not understand about it? Yeah, you, you have the mean? you have the right to not say anything if you don't want to. Oh, all right. Okay. Anything you say can be used against you in court. All right. Okay. You understand that? Yes. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you are being questioned. Do you I understand? I don't that? have money for a lawyer. Okay, I'm but sorry. you you do understand that you have yes, the right to do yes. that. Yes. Okay. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer want to be appointed to represent you before any question. Do you understand that? Yeah. You guys could represent me, you officer. Okay, with the with these rights in mind that I explained to you, are you willing to talk to me about what happened? Yeah. Okay. You, you tell me. Did, did you go to an open house? Yes. Why why did you go to the open house? Uh, uh, because I looked for a house to buy for rent. Okay. I have two already. And I look for another one. Okay. I live in Fairchild Fair Lane. I live in Fairchild Lane. Okay. I got two houses there, that street. Mm. It's a 38 and 13. And I got one over here, and the end of the lane is a 42. And I come in this way to see my house over there. I take a look, the wrapper, the rent out. So my, my question is, why would you, the, the real estate agent that was there, why would you kiss her neck? I know kiss her neck. I give her, she be on the right phone, the phone on the right hand. I get my phone on my right, right hand, and I say, she give me a hand, and I touch her like this, and I say goodbye. It's, it's, a, it's a baby. Somebody sometimes do that, and I used to do it. Okay. 
she's I saying know. she's saying that you were holding on to her and she kept telling you no and you wouldn't let go. Liar, liar. She liar. She tried for me in trouble. I'm sorry, but I know that. Have you ever been arrested before? No, never. In your life? In my life, never be arrested. I'd be arrested when I'd be in the army. Four years. Mm -hmm. I'd be there, working there. For me, it's a jail. <laughs> Nothing mm -hmm. else. Why, why would she say you were kissing, you were kissing her neck? Then? I don't know. She felt I don't you, know. And she, she broke her nail trying to get away from you. No, he's lying. He's her lying. nail's broken. He's lying. Tell me to come here with me. What? Call her and come here with me. What reason would she have to lie? What I have to... What reason would she have to lie? No, ask me. She doesn't ask even her. know you, right? Do you know her? No, I don't know her. Never. I never see her. It's my first time because I see the house say up, uh, up in cell or something like that. And I go take a look. That's it. I'm not even nothing to her. What? Did you know it was an open? Did, did you know it was an open house or? No, I looked. In. You what? I looked for for houses. Okay, so you just saw a for sale sign. This is the front of the house. Is uh, they say they get a thing there. They say up in the house, and I I go that see. That was out. No. I don't think she put it out yet. Yes, it is. It's in the house. She said it. Well, the sign wasn't out in the yard yet. She lied again. She lied again. I see. You think I go over there because I see a lady there with the doors open and that the house is not being for sale? No, I'm not. I'm not the kind of stupid. No, I'm not. Sorry. Okay. So here's the deal. She gave us a statement on what happened. Okay. 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 Um, Whenever we first talked, you weren't really forthcoming with, you said you, you didn't stop anywhere, that you were coming from your daughter's house, yep. that you never talked to anybody, then it was that you did talk to somebody, and now it's that I you tell, did go I to tell him house. I'm confused. I talk to some lady, and, uh, and I get the, the badge there. But I already scratched, and I put it in my cup, put it in the garbage. Okay. So she wants to pursue criminal charges on you. Okay. So well, that, that means that you're going to be going to jail. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Now? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to get down there and you'll have a bond tomorrow, okay? And you'll be able to get out. I know. I'm not Do you have any here. shoulder problems or anything like that? No. You don't? Okay. I'm going to handcuff you in the back then for now. If it gets uncomfortable, you can tell me and we'll move them for you, okay? Just put your hands behind your back. Try to do that to me. Try to do that to me, okay? I don't need nothing. <laughs> Does that feel okay? Yeah, I feel okay. Yeah. Do you have any family in the area? No, because of my daughter and my wife, they go they go to Tampa. And I come into my daughter's house to pick her up the dog to the dog still with me. Who's whose dog is this? It's my daughter's dog. Where's she at? She go in the Tampa with my wife. See some family there, okay. and I know, this car really and then I don't go with them because uh, the car is for five people. Okay, we're gonna walk in this car. Really okay. Do you have anything in your pockets? I have roll. Uh, I have my wallet. Just face the car for me. I have some things to to put in the. I got some money, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I don't know who you guys do that to me. I mean, I said I don't need that. <laughs> this is shame. Maybe. Do we have his driver's license? I do. You do. Maybe you guys to the people, to the people. The. Do you have your weapon in the car? Is that what? Do you have a firearm in the car? No, I get license, but I don't get firearm. Huh? I get license, but I don't get the firearm. You don't have the firearm, but you have no. license. No. No, I don't have nothing. Okay. Just have a seat for me. Yeah. I'm going to take your glasses off so you don't ruin them. Okay? All right. You put in my car if you don't mind, please. Yeah, I'll put it in your car. Thank you. All right. You okay? Yes. Okay.
three kids, two daughters, 40, 45. The, the youngest one is 40. I never did that to nobody else. Never. I never be in the jail. I mean, I say, I be in the jail because I be four years on the army. That's it. But I never be in the court. What do you guys want more from me? You think I'm lying? I'm sweating. to God. Take me away right now if I be. Right, give me, I mean, God, take me away right now. Give me Pass um, away if I did that. Yeah. Right, please. Well, give, me, give, me, give me one second, okay? Thank I'm going to make a phone call. Thank you. I have another dog home under my cat, too. Do they have food and water? I, I, I put some, but it's not enough. Okay. We'll call uh, We'll call your daughter and see if maybe they can come back early. Actually, they leave a couple of weeks, couple of time ago. Yeah. Please. I can't, I can't let you go. Why are you, I talk, I I'm innocent, to my, it. I talked to my supervisor. Please call Kenny. I can't call Kenny right now, he's not working. But I talked to my supervisor and collectively we made the decision um, that you are going to go to jail. But you will be able to get out tomorrow. I don't have nobody to take me out tomorrow. You can bond yourself out. <laughs> All right, first, officer, do what you want to do, because it's not. It's not doing. I'm, what I, I'm not, innocent. I don't need nothing by it. It's that. not. It's not doing what I want to do. It's doing what my job tells me to do. And whenever officer, I have a, a person that's alleging to be the victim in it. Not saying that this case is going to stick, I don't know. Why is she not coming talk to me? Oh, we go over there talk to her. Because we never let the victims talk to the suspect. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. I understand that too. It's just the, the fear of retaliation or putting them in potential harm or vice versa, you getting put into harm's way. We try to alleviate all that together. I understand that. So I I'm, understand. Sorry that I'm sorry that it's happening to you, I really am. Um, uh, no, this is this is beyond me. She 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 lied. Believe me. And and if that's the case, the state won't prosecute it, and the charges will get dropped against you, and they won't be on your criminal history. But it's just one of those things we have to get this over with now. My friends uh, pass over here already. Say me in the in the police car. Oh my God. Yeah. Well, they they can't see. I never be I never be this way. Never. It is shame. A lot of people kill, a lot of people do a lot of shit, stupid people, and uh, they're not going to jail. And I am going to jail because I checked a hand to a lady. Later, a girl, I don't know, she is. Uh, shame. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's fine. We're going to go and get you down there, okay? Okay. We stick my car. Huh? We stick my car. It's gonna get towed to the to the tow yard so you can get it tomorrow. Oh my god. We'll let you know where everything is though. <laughs> the victim positively identified Da Silva as the man who assaulted her. Since the open house was not active during the time of the incident, he was arrested on the felony charge of burglary of a dwelling with assault and battery, and one misdemeanor charge of simple battery. He was transported to the Sheriff Perry Hall inmate detention facility where he is currently being held without bond. I never be in the jail. <laughs> I'm most 80 years old. I go to the jail because I shake the hand to and leave. And she shake my hand to me too. Yeah. <laughs>